Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we are going to demonstrate how to use the Fire TV single sign-on feature. This allows you to easily log in one time and access a ton of apps, which removes one of the biggest annoyances of streaming players like the Fire TV is the need to re-log in. While many live TV streaming services like Sling TV and PlayStation View and Hulu especially give you a ton of content built into their app, every now and then there is some content that you want to access that is sometimes exclusive to the HD TV app. Um, so we're going to show you how to do this because you can't just go into the settings and easily set this up. It's slightly hidden, but once you do it, it's very easy. If you want to access the single sign-on, just go to each and one of the apps are supported. In this case, we're going to use HDTV, Hallmark, History, etc. are all supported. Let's log in here. Um, and then you just need to find some of the content that's locked. You can see, for example, here they have a ton of free content they can stream, but they also have um, some are behind a paywall. So we're going to select on that. It's going to ask you to sign in. Now, right off the bat, you notice there are a ton of cable providers. There are 500 um, providers in total with a single sign-on, mostly cable, traditional pay TV. Hulu, PlayStation Viewer accepted with this. They say more are coming. Uh, Dish and DirecTV Satellite are both supported on this. So hopefully DirecTV Now, um, Sling TV will come in the future. But for now, um, there's just a handful. But you see, you can skip over this, as I said, you know, Drake TV, Dish are there, but go down to view all providers, just to Hulu real quick. Oh, I went past the H. Uh, and then you can just, you can scroll through a whole list. You can type in part or full name there, find it really easy. We'll scroll right there, Hulu. So you select Hulu in this case, if you were a Hulu subscriber or PlayStation View subscriber, it will launch the browser in a second. There you go. And you can log in. Traditional login page you're used to with Hulu. I'm not going to actually log in now. Um, but you click on the login at the bottom, and then you're in. And from there, it will unlock a ton of the apps and allow you to uh, log in. Now, it needs to be in your package. Uh, if you're used to watch ESPN, for example, great example here. If you have a basic package with ESPN 1 and 2, when you open ESPN, you only get those two um, channels. If you get packaged with higher ones, it will open up uh, ESPNU, ESP News, etc. as part of that package. Same thing here, if you don't subscribe to that particular channel, for instance, you have the PlayStation View basic package with um, not all the Hulu or a Hallmark channel content in it, you're only going to get what you pay for. Um, so keep that in mind. But this is a really cool feature. Um, Roku now has it, but no core cutting services are supporting it yet. Hopefully soon. Again, Dish and um, Direct TV are supporting it. Um, AT&T, or excuse me, Apple has it, and they are supporting other um, core kind of services like Sling TV and PlayStation View, and now the Fire TV has it. Hopefully Android TV will get support for this in the future too, though Android TV does have the ability for you to save passwords to Google and then easily enter them into apps. Uh, but yeah, so really great. From here, you could go and download the History Channel, the DIY Network, the Hallmark Channel, all the different apps you want are available there and install them. Um, may not be for everybody. I know for most people, maybe having it in the app, in like the PlayStation View app or the Hulu app or the Sling TV app is great, but there are every now and then content that you can't find in those that this is a great option. So this, you do need to have a fully updated Fire TV. Let me quickly show you how to do that. You can go into settings go down to device, select about, and then at the bottom, select check for system update. And there, it, it says last check, I'm fully up to date. But if it wasn't, you would see it downloading with an option to restart it. You do need to be fully updated for this new feature to be available. Well, questions, comments, let me know. Hopefully this helped you find a new cool feature there to get out of your Fire TV. If you have a suggestion for a tip or trick you want us to demonstrate, or show you how to do, leave us a comment. We would greatly appreciate ideas for future videos like this as we explore the possibilities of this new core cutting lab. Thank you for watching the video and please subscribe.